Okay, you guys, I'm coming to you again today with a new feature that I'm going to add to my channel. Okay, we go couponing. We get bundles of stuff as far as, I'm talking about food. We get bundles of stuff that may expire sooner than we use it. Um, yes, you can freeze a lot of it, but if you're like me, I have two freezers that's completely full right now from getting different things, different frozen stuff um, through couponing and then certain things that I have um, found ways to freeze or whatever. So today, and probably going to be every day that I do it, I'm going to show you guys how to make meals out of um, things that's about to expire or has already expired but not bad, um, how to cook for the kiddos. And they can still eat really, really good. They can still get, you know, vegetables and stuff. And anyway, it'll be a lot easier on us when it comes to preparing it. So today, I'm going to make something I call noodle bologna egg fouillon. Yeah, that's my name for it. Um, because it's going to be a mixture of different things. Um, and let me tell you right now. If you see a fly in here, my house is not full of flies. But I live in a... A town home that's right on the side of it is the garbage bin. So when I open my front door or my back door, whether I'm going in or out, you gotta almost run out and shut the door because it's really, really hot here in North Carolina. And where my the, my um, home sits, the bin is right there. So everybody put their garbage in there. Flies go around that bin. When you open your door, you're fighting flies from coming in and out your house. I I can't. That's the only thing I have to say. I hate about up here is the flies are really, really bad. Um, but I try to keep them out as much as possible because I don't like no fly dirty house or whatever. So yeah. So if you see one, please disregard that. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to keep it like when the kids go out, they be so slow to going in and out the door. You can count about four or five flies flying around the door. I'm like, yeah, yeah. So. Um, just wanted to say that. Just wanted to point that out. Um, I know because I have about two of them. I've been trying to kill and I can't find them. But every now and then I see them. I'm going to get them for the night over with. But yeah, back to it. So with this, I'm going to be using um, some Roman noodles that I got really, really cheap. I have the water on now. It's just boiling. So I'm going to pop these noodles in and I'm only going to let these sit in there. You just let these sit in there just a little bit. You just want them to break down. That's all you want them to do. Take seasoning out. Actually, this is something quick for my kids. That's why I'm doing three packs because the other stuff that I add to it is going to um, make it, you know, a lot. Now I could go and cook a full meal or something. Um, well, actually, yes, last night we cooked up a lot of meat. For this week, um, different chicken, different ways and stuff like that. That um, so I won't have to cook meat. I just throw sides with it. But when I looked in the refrigerator, I'm like, hold up, I got eggs. That's the next five, a couple days ago, they need to get eight. And what's my other pack? How could I spoil my hand? Oh, okay. Um, so I was like, I'm gonna do a quick meal for them and then I'll just maybe use the chicken or something tomorrow. So I put the noodles in there. Get something to stir it with. And you just want them to you know just get soft. That's all you want them to do. You just want them to get soft. So you let them cook just a little bit. Let them cook a little bit. Meanwhile, let me get some milk. See, I got just a little bit of milk left. <laughs> so I'm going to use this. Whew. No, I'm not. 
That said it expires June 8th. And it don't smell right. So I'm not going to use the milk. But normally, I would put milk in this. But I got another solution for that. Now I got to go pick up some milk. Ain't that about something? I just came home. It always forgetting something. But I, I didn't know that I was out. So I got another solution for that. They almost there. I just need them to soften up just a little bit more. Butter. Let me use some butter. And like I said, this is some quick. The noodles I got at the case lot sale. Um, the commissary case lot sale. For the whole pack, I think I paid a dollar and something for a whole case of them. So that was part of a couponing haul. These are soft now. They soft, so I'm gonna go pull this water. I'm gonna pull the water off from them. Yeah, you gotta save money any way you can. Please use up the stuff that you got. Don't coupon and get stuff and let it go to waste. Don't don't do that. Cause then what's the purpose of you couponing? So I pulled the water off. You take bring it down to like medium heat. Pull the water off. Normally this is where I would put the milk, but as you see, I just found out I'm out of milk. Um I add maybe two tablespoons of butter. And you just want to let the butter melt. And like I said, I probably want to put butter in this if I had the milk. But since I don't have the milk, I'm going to have to grab some later. I'm just going to use the butter. So I got the butter in there. Then you put your packages in. Well, no. I tell you what, I got the butter in there. Well, I got the butter in there. I'm gonna go ahead and put the eggs. Now, you guys, I got these eggs on sale for like a dollar twenty-five, and it's the eighteen count. Um, that it was um a deal at um Lowe's Food. So, and it says the expiration date on these was July second. So, you guys, we got I, in my house. They gonna eat a lot of eggs. Was it egg sandwiches in the morning for breakfast? Um, I'm finna use a great amount of them in this dish right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crack the egg. Now I have nothing but noodles in the butter in there. I'm cracking the egg and I'm just gonna pull the eggs in there. Just like that. You ain't gotta stare and none of that stuff. Just pull the eggs. Just let them go in there. That's three. It's four. And mind you, I'm fixing this for three kids. So you got a lot of protein in it. I just put five eggs in there. Five eggs. Let me wash my hands. And then you just continue to stir it. Just continue to stare. Continue to stare. Then you're gonna start seeing the eggs is gonna start fluffing up in it. You're gonna start seeing the eggs in it. And you just keep cooking it like this. Make sure you get it from the bottom because those eggs are going to go to the bottom and you're going to have to start kind of scraping them as they fluff up. They're going to be at the bottom so you got to keep you got to keep scraping it to make sure you get your um, scrambled eggs all the way through it. Just keep scraping it. There 
There we go. So they have so far got noodles with the egg. Now you add your um the noodle season. If I can get my eyes open. Put the noodle seasoning in there. Y'all, it's so, so easy. And with the noodles, that's the starch. Then you got the eggs. They're getting protein. Plus, I'm going to put meat in it. Um, and the seasoning. from The, the only seasoning um, you need in there is the seasoning from the... Um, the seasoning from the noodle, the, the, the soup seasoning. That's the only seasoning I'm putting there. Because that meat going to give it some flavor. And, oh my goodness, the eggs is like fluffing up in it. Yeah. My kids going to love it. They're going to love it. So. And if it become a little thick, because like I said, you should put some milk in it. I'm out of milk, so since I'm out of milk, I'm going to add just a little bit of water, just a little bit. I'm going to add just a little bit of water in there, but normally, like I said, it would have been milk. Just a little bit. And you add, you know the consistency of yours. So when you're making it, you add, you know how much milk you probably would need. Okay. So next. Next we got the eggs in there. I got some of these. Y'all probably remember when I did that, that haul from, um, Lowe's food, it was the discounted um, chicken and discounted sandwich meat. So this is a container that I think my husband already has started on. So, so, so I'm just going to put that up in there. Put that all up in there. And then I got some bologna that I had found. It was part of that meat deal at Lowe's food. The bologna too, you filled the bag and it took 20, 25% uh, percent off the bag. So I'm just going to take, because they already got the chicken in it. I'm going to take three slices of the bologna. I ain't finna use no knife or nothing. I mean, it's, they're going to get chopped up when they eat it anyway. And I'm just going to break up the bologna in it. Just going to break up the bologna. Wash my hands, you guys. Yeah. So, now the meat and the bologna, the chicken and the bologna is in this. And I'm just going to heat it through. And I'm going to show you guys what it looked like in a minute. So, if you're in an area where it's really, really hot and you like me, one of my tips that we do is, like I say, um, with my husband's job, he comes in late sometime and he has a, a strenuous job, so he needs to eat. Now, with me couponing and doing the videos and stuff like that, a lot of people say, you got too much time on your hands. No, I don't. I'm in school. I have three kids. I have a husband. I have to keep up house and everything like that. What I do is I make it easier. I take, like last night, we cooked so much meat to where you just pull the meat out, open a can of green beans or something, and um, and there you go. The meat is all, because normally when you're cooking a dinner or something, the meat is the longest thing to get done. You can do sides all day. Okay, you guys, now check this out. I got the eggs, the bologna, the cheese, I mean, no, the eggs, the noodles, the seasoning, the chicken, and the bologna in there. 
Watch what I'm about to do now. This is where they're going to get their vegetables. If I can get my can opener that I think just went out on me. Yes, it did. Now you got to find me another can opener. Because my can opener just went out. Hold on, you guys. Let me see. Okay, so I'm about to show y'all what we're going to add to it. As long as I get this can open up together. Okay. You're going to pour this off from the heat until I can get my um my cans open. Now I'm gonna fin I'm finna put in the vegetables in there. The vegetables is gonna be one can which I'm draining the juice off. But I'm gonna leave just a little bit juice in the can so it won't be dry. Just a tad. Just enough to be able to heat this through. Put my stuff back on there. Can of corn. That looks good. Y'all, I can eat sweet corn out of the can. Not the cream corn, just the, the Christmas sweet. I can eat that out the can by itself. I always had I did it when I was younger. And I still can do it. It is so good to me. So, you just work that corn in there. Work the corn in there. Work the corn, work the corn. You want it to heat through. I was going to put some sweet peas in it, but I think not. I'm going to say that for something else I'm going to make. So, yeah. Let that heat through. And that's a good dinner. You got noodles. Oh, I'm making a mess. Noodles that's got the eggs, the meat, and then to really, really do something with it, top it off with some shredded cheese. Let it be cheesy eggs with your corn and your meat in it, and you good to go. You good to go. Kids will be nice and full. And all from your couponing stuff that could be about to expire. So I'm adding the cheese in it. Oh wow, you guys. And I'm going to show you what this looks like. I don't know if you can see. I don't know if you can see it. But yeah, you got your, your chicken, the bologna, the eggs is in there, and the um the cheese and the corn. Really, really, really good. If you haven't ate cheesy noodles, if you haven't ate cheesy noodles, you don't know what you're missing. But um that's a quick meal that my peoples, well my kids will be eating. Um and just a few and I was able to 
make them because that's really no different from the you know how you go to the store and you get the the noodles with the vegetables in it they have the little um the little um vegetables and the little um meat or whatever like the little what is it yakisobi or something has a little package of, of seasoning and stuff in there only thing is i added extra meat that you will find that you wouldn't find in them and i added egg and put some cheese on it and it's not a it's not a soup consistency it's more like a noodle getty <laughs> it says spaghetti like a noodle getty um and there you go they got everything that they need in it i was able to use some of them eggs up this um that's um the next part before they go bad i was able to use some of the meat up that before it go bad I may end up freezing the rest, putting all in a Ziploc bag, but I'm going to get a couple more meals out of it. And yeah, it's no reason to coupon and waste stuff. I hate to waste stuff. So yeah, you guys, I hope this video was helpful. I will be back with more tips and more meals that I come up with just to kind of, because I told you guys I'm going to be moving soon. So I have way too much food. So if I can take my deep freezer, but my refrigerator, um, I need to use some of that stuff up because it's just packed. And both of my deep freezers are packed. So I was like, I'm not going to buy no more food stuff right now. I'm just going to have to work on what I have in the refrigerator and do away with it. And my kids eat, 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 eat. Long as it ain't stopped because I wouldn't feed my kids slop or nothing. <laughs> just saying, I wouldn't. Um, but they they puts it away they puts it away so yeah you guys i hope you enjoyed this video um until next time happy cooking happy savings